The death of Robert Wilmers has many taking time today to consider the profound effect that he has had on Western New York. The M&T Bank CEO died suddenly over the weekend at the age of 83. Emily Lampa spent the day talking to people today who knew him and about his legacy. Emily? That's right, Scott. Robert Wilmers was not just a financial leader, but he was a philanthropist, an advocate for the arts and education, a mentor, and his M&T Bank family returned to work today, still processing what is described as a tremendous loss. We sat down with Renee Jones, one of the three vice chairmen now responsible for the bank's day-to-day -day operations, and he says that Wilmers was the heart of the bank's culture. Wilmers has been chairman and CEO for more than three decades, helping to guide its expansion from one state to eight states and brand the brand rather of the uh, M&T now nationally known after securing the naming rights, of course, for the Baltimore football stadium. You know, over his 34 year career here at M&T, he showed himself in so many facets. Um, the one that I think we'll always remember, though, is uh, during the financial crisis, I think he emerged as a bit of maybe the conscience of the uh, of the banking industry. Um, you know, arguably the industry uh, uh, at some point in time lost its way uh, and the leadership was in crisis. And what's unique about Bob is he was willing to speak out about it and he was willing to, to say what needed to be said. And I think that sort of served as a beacon for the rest of the industry. Uh, so he'll be sorely missed by, by all in the industry. And leadership at M&T say that Wilmer's accomplishments as chairman and CEO are only surpassed by his commitment to the community and the belief that the bank can only do well if the communities it serves do well as well. And I'm told that M&T pledges to continue that community mindfulness because of the many different ways that Wilmer's contributed to Western New York. Jones tells me that there could be many memorial events planned in the coming weeks, but they are letting his family guide that process. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear from one state leader who remembers what Wilmers did for Buffalo schools. Scott. All right, Emily Lampa reporting tonight. Emily, thank you.